Hey guys, in this video we're going to create currency and for that you can use anything you like, for example silver, diamonds, runes, but I'm just going to stick to classic gold. And for that I actually found really nice free asset here we can use, so go to your Quixel bridge and in here we can search for pot and it is this one leather water pot that actually reminds me of small coin bag so go ahead and download it then add it to your project and once that's done just rename this static mesh to gold underscore sm open it up now we need to add collision so select collision auto convex collision apply and save we can close this now rename this whole folder to gold and now we can drag it in our meshes so drag the whole folder to meshes so we can keep them together and just in case right click on meshes and update the redirect or references you can close this you can close the quicksell bridge now we can create our items so go to third person blueprints items and right click on items bp create child blueprint class this will be our gold underscore as uh, BP open that one click on item mesh and for static mesh we're going to change it to gold SM compile and save let's see what it looks like so drag it into the world and it actually perfect size size for a coin bag so you can remove this and now go to blueprints or open items data table let's add a new row this will be gold we will name it gold item class will be gold bp static mesh will be gold sm item icon we don't need for now later on when we're looting the gold from the corpse or chest or anything we can create something for now we will be only adding it to the variable so stack can be one, max stack you can change to something like 100,000, we won't probably go as high. And item type we don't have created, so go to your item types enumerator and create gold. Save it, go back to your items data table and now change the item type to gold. Skeletal mesh we don't need because we know they're equipping it and rarity can be anything you want. I'll change mine to legendary. Save it. And now we have item created. We can go to our player blueprint. We need to create new variable. So plus icon and create variable called gold. Select the type. It will be integer. Compile and save. Now we also need to change our pickup item function so open up the pickup item so since we will be just adding to this gold variable we don't need to add it to the inventory so we don't need any of these drag up drag the pickup item back do a branch now we need to break this item in for open and we'll check uh, we can do either from class or from item type if it equals enumerator and if it equals gold connect false to the rest of the function and from true if it is gold we're going to break this item info one more time so break item info open it up we're going to get gold and we're going to add to this gold from the stack so how many gold coins we adding and then we need to set it gold so drag it again and connect it here and then connect it to true this is all we need to pick up gold so we can select these things right click collapse to function so it's not as messy and call this gold or pick up gold now Don't forget that in this function we also got a return node with success and since we 
won't have a full inventory while picking gold it will always be a success so connect it and compile and save and now we could just go to our item names enumerator create it here as well so we can select it on our interactable items this will need to reload but here you can select the gold and play the game and here we could just pick up the gold as you can see and it will say looted gold but now we need a way to display it somehow in a player and i also don't want to pick up notify to say just gold and we don't want to just pick up the one gold every time because that's what we're doing at the moment because we're getting the stack from the data table so what we need to do is go to interactable items and in here we're going to create new variable this will be gold amount we will change the type to integer and make it instance editable and expose on spawn but this time let's change the category and we'll put it in the gold and so now when you actually select one of these items you got here in a gold category you got gold amount which we can change to be maybe 100 default so it's not on zero so select the gold amount and change it to 100 compile it and now we need a way to set it so we won't be dropping gold so we don't need to worry about the first part we will change it here in the end we will need to check again if it's the gold so do branch uh, we can break this item info open uh, drag from item type equal equals equals enumerator and gold and if it does equal gold we need to set this item info again so get the item info and set it here uh, connect it to true and now drag this up uh, from here we will make item info and then from this one we're getting from data table which is either here outro or here where we set it we can break this open and now we connect every single thing apart from stack and stack we would change to this gold amount value so you could just connect it here and you could on every time you spawn one of these coin bags you could set your custom value and that's fine but i want to have it always at 100 and i want to have a random value in these bags and to do that go back to interactable items and alt click on this and now we drag from here and do random integer and it will do random integer from 0 to 50 but i don't want to get zero gold so we'll also clump integer and we will clump it between one and this value so we could rename this to max gold amount so that will be the maximum gold that can be in that bag and you can change it to whatever you like and now we connect the return value to stack so this is only in the case of this being gold so compile and save and now that will give us random value but we also wanted to say on the notify how much gold we actually picked up so we need to go to our widgets go to notify widget and in here go to graph and in the event graph here on the event construct we will drag this back with a switch and here when we're picking up not on inventory full just on the pickup we will do branch and we will check again if the item is gold so uh, we got item info here we break this open and we will check if item type equals enumerator equals gold 
and connect it to branch. Now, if it does, just connect false to this previous one. So if it doesn't equal gold, it will just do looted, looted message and the item. And if it does equal gold, we will copy this text again, set text with notify text, connect it to true. We need one append again, so copy append and paste it here. Written value goes to text. And the text that we will be saying is looted. We got the item info broken here, so we can just get stuck. Connect it to B, add pin, and just put one space here and gold. So now this will say looted and 50, for example, gold. Now, last thing, don't forget to connect this and set text to slide notify so it will actually slide in compile and save and now we can hold alt and create like three of these bugs go to play now when we pick up the let's play the armor so pick up gold loot at 83 gold loot at 70 gold and loot at 61 gold so it works fine now we can just we need a way to display it, so we will just do that in a player inventory. So open up the inventory widget. In here, uh, here when we got border with inventory grid, we can right click, wrap this with canvas panel. We will resize this border or anchor it. So hold Control and Shift and anchor it to the whole thing. Now we will add another border, so type in border, add it to this new canvas panel. Mm, this one we can anchor to the top. Control Shift. We will make the size Y50. Now we need to offset the other border by 50, otherwise it will be overlapping the inventory. So offset top will be 50. And since it's now smaller, our inventory won't fit. So also select the canvas panel and change the size Y to 660, so 50 more. So it's longer. Now, select this original border in the inventory. Let's copy the tint and paste it in the top one so it's the same. And now we'll be adding stuff here like maybe weight of the inventory or later when we got the sword buttons or anything so we need to add canvas panel so we could add all of those things add it to this border um, set padding to zero and now we can add image this one will be uh, size maybe 30 times 30 we can do position x 10 or 20 position y will be 10 and then we'll change this image to the gold icon i added the link in the description of the video so you can download it or you can do a custom one and i already imported it to this project so once you do it, just select the gold icon here. And since it's white without background, we can also change the tint and we'll change it to something golden, like gold coins. And now we can add text, add it to this canvas panel as well. We can change the size to 16 and you can just drag it so it's right next to this gold and this will just be the amount of gold so compile and save and now we can just bind it there is later on I will explain you why binding is not really a good practice because it always runs in the background as well but for inventory is fine and we will I'll explain you how to do it properly in some other video but for now we all we have to do is here 
bind the text, create binding. We'll just get player reference and get gold and connect it to return value. And now when we play the game, you open the inventory, you got gold zero here. And we pick up these three gold packs. And we got 214. And it works fine. So now we have a currency. We can either start creating maybe shopkeepers or we can go into crafting. So we'll see.